Over the past three months or so, I have learned that I am in fact not a morning person, not a natural morning person. Um, so I find that the more I get done at night, the, the better the next day will be by leaps and bounds. So here are the things that I do at night to make my next morning much easier. The first thing I make sure to do every evening is to clean out the kitchen sink, wipe down the countertops, make sure they're completely clear, and to run the dishwasher if there's enough in it to warrant running it. Normally throughout the day we can fill up the dishwasher. I have pretty much trained myself now and I just can no longer go to bed knowing that I have a dirty kitchen downstairs. So a big part of that is, you know, filling the dishwasher and then washing anything by hand that is delicate or not dishwasher safe. So things like my nice pots, my good knives. Once I'm done filling up the dishwasher, washing anything by hand, then I move on to the counters. I really like the Method All-Purpose Surface Cleaners. They come in really, really nice scents, um, and I feel like they do a really good job. So I just spray down the counters, wipe them down. Um, sometimes I do the stove depending on how dirty it's gotten throughout the day. And then I also always, always wipe down the kitchen table because, I don't know, we're adults, but like, I feel like we're messy eaters. There's always little bits of food or like something sticky <laughs> on the table. I think normally that's like honey from spilt tea or, you know what I mean, just like the rings from glasses and stuff like that when you set them down on the table. So I like to spray that down with the same all-purpose cleaner, wipe it down, and then we also have like a sideboard in one area of the kitchen that's kind of like our makeshift pantry but I do just like to spray that down and wipe it off because it is white and it shows dirt a lot quicker than any other area of the kitchen. So now that I've got the kitchen sorted that's kind of like step one is get the kitchen sorted so now that that's done I like to move on and prep some things for the morning mostly liquids. <laughs> that sounds a little weird but let me explain. First thing I like to do is grab a water bottle, fill it up, and put it in the fridge. It's just really nice to wake up to a cold bottle of water in the morning, and I like to drink that while I prep my breakfast and everything, just to make sure I'm starting off the day with a full bottle of water. The next kitchen thing I like to prep is the coffee machine. Not just for me, but also for Sean. Um, I normally set it for 6.30ish in the morning, because I like to get up about that time. I'm slowly trying to work my way up to 5 a.m., but currently we're sitting at about 6.30. <laughs> so I set it for 6.30. It's just nice to wake up to the smell of coffee. It wafts up the stairs and it's very motivating. It really helps wake me up and get me out of bed. So I make sure to do this every single night. The next nightly routine that I make sure to do every single night is to vacuum something. I know that might seem a little weird, but let me explain. Basically, I've kind of split our house up into three different areas. The first one is mostly the main floor, so like our kitchen, our foyer, our little hallway that leads into our living room and then our living room. The second area is our stairwell that goes from the main floor up to the second floor, and the third area is just the second floor. So our bedroom, our like second floor landing, my office, and our bathroom. And what I do is I pick one area every night to vacuum. So on this night when I filmed my b-roll. <laughs> um, I picked the first area which is the main floor so that means that the following night I would be doing the second area so going up these stairs to the landing which is handy because that means the vacuum is already on the top floor for the next night when I would be vacuuming that floor and then I just kind of start over <laughs> again the next night and it's just super easy to keep on top of it that way the house never gets too dirty which is awesome. So this may change as the weather changes and it gets cooler and we move from summer into fall into winter, but for the summer I have been showering at night. So I shower every single night. I just find that in the summer, you know, you're active, you get sweaty, it's a lot hotter so you get sweaty a lot quicker. It's icky. And it's just nice to shower in the evening so that I go to bed feeling very clean, I wake up feeling very clean and fresh, and again, it's just one less thing I have to do in the morning, and it makes it just 
nicer to get up in the morning. This is obviously personal preference, but it just works really, really well for me. Also, because I don't wash my hair every day, I wash it about every three to four days, so really, most nights, it's just a body shower. And then the very last thing I like to do every single evening is to lay out my outfit for the next day. I remember my mom making me do this when I was a kid, and I always hated it because I would always change my mind in the morning. I never wanted to wear what I had picked out the evening before. I don't have that problem anymore. I kind of had like a daily uniform, you know, jeans, t-shirt, shorts, t-shirt. It's not super crazy. <laughs> also, I work from home, so sometimes it's just like athleisure. But still, it's nice to lay it out the night before so that I have it ready on the bench at the end of our bed and I can just throw it on and get on with my day. Okay guys, so that's it. That's all for this video. These are just my tips that work really well for me and I thought maybe they would help some of you if you have a hard time getting going in the morning. Uh, these nightly tasks have just really helped to improve my days overall. I just find that everything goes so much smoother, I'm able to get more done, I feel a little bit happier, just being on top of things this way. But yeah guys, that's it, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up, that would be awesome, it would really help out my channel. And subscribe if you're not already, if you feel like hanging around here with me. Uh, yeah, I'd love to have you. But yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!